Hi, my name is Tony Hood, and right now I'm standing on the northwest face of a crater in northern Mississippi, looking out to the southeast at the crater rim on the other side that must be 10 to 15 miles in diameter. It's obviously, it's flat and it's round, and everything from this point to that point is concave. Uh, this is a, a crater from a meteor that hit in December of 1811 and caused the great earthquake of 1811-1812. On the uh, north side of most of the hills around here, you'll find boulders like this buried. Some maybe 500 to 1,000 pounds. And uh, um, these rocks, they're all buried in dirt hills. And you can see where they were obviously molten at one point. And they had all reformed into the sides of the north face of these hills. And if you look around, you can see it's obvious there's no trees that are anywhere near 200 years old. And uh, there's many reports that can't be explained of uh, bright lights on the same afternoon of the occurrence. On the northwest side of the crater, you'll find several canyons just like this one. They just go off and deep, deeper than like 30, 40, 50 feet, uh, taller than a tree. <clears throat> now you can see I'm now at the bottom of the canyon and uh, there's a lake where someone has dammed it up. And if you look, it drops off that much further on the other side, even further down. Another 30, 40, 50 feet, much deeper. Now walking up into one of the craters, and you can see the design of what it's done. You can see the crater. And if you look, and we could randomly pick up any of these rocks, and you can see they were obviously molten at one point. And uh, some have been welded together by extreme forces, obviously. And uh, this is what you'll find in, in um, just about every one of the uh, canyons on the northwest side of the crater. See some of these. At the top of some of them are rocks scattered and buried just randomly. All kinds of rocks. And uh, it's obvious every one of them at one time was molten. If you look closely. As you can see, while I'm walking around in my yard, uh, I've uh, collected some of the best samples, or better samples, of meteorites and uh, molten rock. And uh, as you can see, these are pretty good sized meteorites. And some of these rocks show the obvious amount of molten material that was in the air at one time. It went from a half inch to an inch of uh, molten rock and uh, quite a bit of rocks like this that have weird fossil shapes and, uh, and, uh, number of different molten rocks you can see here's a few pictures of some of the larger meteorites and molten rocks that I found some that have been welded together there's one that maybe weighs three or four hundred pounds. This one that was busted up by a uh, bush hog at one point. And uh, I don't know if you can see, 
but uh, if you look in the sun, you can see some sparkle. Maybe micro diamonds. Definitely a lot of weird shaped, odd rocks. Take a look at some of the other meteorites I have, and some of the more rare stones. And uh, you can see the iron deposits, obviously. And uh, some of the more rare molten rock that I found in the area. This one is broken on me, I glued it back together. But uh, you can see it's a large round meteorite. And uh, here's some of the rocks that popped and boiled and made hollow places. And you can see there's a hole all the way through this rock, that thick. And uh, some of these hollow places are deep crevices. Lots of these little round meteorites, and I found what looks to me like body parts, including this looks like a was a talon from a large bird. This, I believe, was a little baby's leg, and uh, one of my more rare rocks. Well, was the girl's chest, and you can still see the finger, the hand that was wrapped around her chest as she was hit with molten rock. You can still see what appears to be maybe an amulet around her neck or a chain of some sort, and it sunk in so bad you can see the inside parts of her. And just more of the rarest rocks, probably in the uh, whole world. And uh, lots of petrified wood. This to me, I believe, may be a thigh bone. It looks part, part of a pelvis. Uh, don't ask me, I have no idea what some of these rocks are. I just know they were formed by this meteor. It hit almost 200 years ago. Some of these meteorites have collected stones underneath. I have no idea what all they are. We've even found what appears to be fingers and toes and molten rock just like this everywhere. Uh, if you'd like to learn more about these rocks and uh, and how the Great Comet caused the Great Earthquake of 1811 and 1812, then please Google Calepin's Legacy, and you'll see more pictures and a book on the subject. Thanks.